Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on how to play MapleStory on borderless full screen if you have a 2K or a 4K monitor or a monitor that has a resolution that is not supported by the game itself. So the first thing you want to do is you go to your options in game in MapleStory and then you go to graphics and you make sure you select your aspect ratio of the monitor. So regardless of what it is resolution at if it's 16 by 9 or if it's 16 by 10 that is a stable that is a standard every resolution has an aspect ratio so make sure you know what your aspect ratio is and then you select it and then you click OK alright that's done with the game now the second part is there is a program called borderless windowed mode and this works for any game not just MapleStory and I will leave the link of the Mediafire uh, download button below in the description. So I already downloaded it <coughs> and this is it. So you start this borderless window program, you double click it and after some time it will ask if you want to update. You just click no because the developer is no longer updating the software so it will just be stuck in update mode. So just click no, there we go. Now the program is in the tab down below you click it double click it there you go you show you see a window like this now you can leave it on auto and then add the game that you want and every time you go into the game it will maximize I don't like that it's kind of buggy with some games MapleStory is one of them so what I do is I choose a hotkey and then I assign my hotkey for me at least it's F11 alright so now I can just close this it goes back to the uh, you know system tray and now whenever I click in game, you have to click in MapleStory. So yeah, I can move now. If I press F11 twice, it's full mode. It's full screen. This is at 4K right now. All right. Now, if I want to get out of the full screen, I can use the Windows button twice. Or if I'm full screen again, there we go. Sometimes it does this where it gives you a border also. Just press the shortcut again, like press F11 again, for example, for me. And it goes back to full screen. Now, alt tabbing and going back to the game also puts it back in, you know, normal windowed mode. So, F11, full screen, alt tab, small, F11, full screen, windows button, again, small, right? So, I got into the habit of pressing F11 twice because sometimes it just maximizes half the window. So, you press it again and it fixes it for you. All right? Now, that's done with how to maximize the window. Now, some people will say that you'll get pixelating when you're playing MapleStory at a resolution it's not meant to be because you're upscaling a 1080p into a you know 4K or 1440p. So there is a solution to that, which is you go to the NVIDIA control panel by going to the system tray at the bottom, right clicking your NVIDIA experience or you know if you have just the icon, you don't have GeForce experience and you select NVIDIA control panel the other way is to go to your Windows button, Start Menu, and you type NVIDIA, and then you'll see NVIDIA Control Panel as one of them. So you open that up, and you go to the second tab, which is Manage 3D Settings, and then you go to Program Settings from here, and then you might not have MapleStory added in this list. I do, but if you do not, you press Add, and then you select MapleStory, and add selected programs. All right. If you can't find it in this list, then you just browse and you know navigate to where your MapleStory is installed. So, for example, for me, it's in Steam. So let me just show you Steam, Steam apps, and then Common, and then MapleStory, and then this is the game client. It's just called MapleStory, right? Now. Once MapleStory has been added, you might not find it because it's not called MapleStory. It's called Adventure Island Online. So we look for Adventure Island Online and that's it. Now, the second step is to go to your anti-aliasing mode within the game in the NVIDIA control panel and you change it to override any application settings. This must be done. Otherwise, your in-game may look kind of pixelated, and you'll be like, oh man, this full screen window is bad, then it's not working. 
And if you do enhance, also it doesn't work. If you do off, then of course not an application control that just ignores this whole NVIDIA control panel setting. So you go anti-aliasing mode and override any application settings. And then you go to anti-aliasing settings and you set it at 8x. Okay, 8x is what you want this to be. And then you click, uh, let me change something so that I can see the button. All right. So you click apply and it applies the settings for you. And then you can close this window and make sure the game is closed at the time. Or if it's not, then you have to reclose and reopen MapleStory. All right. So now once the NVIDIA part is done and you've already done your options, graphics, and made sure your aspect ratio is correct, right? I have a 4K monitor, a standard 4K monitor. So just to show you, uh, 3840 by 2160. This is considered a 16 by 9. If you had something different, for example, a 2560 by 1600, this is a 16 by 10, right? So it depends on your resolution. You have to find out. You can Google that and it will tell you what aspect ratio that monitor is. Now, so I select 16 by 9. Okay, that's it. MapleStory is done. I have done the settings in the NVIDIA control panel. That's done. I have ran the program, borderless windowed, and I assigned the hotkey F11. That's done. Now I go in game. I can see myself moving. I press the hotkey, full screen. That's the end of the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.